Hello my little peacocks, this is Poppycock Cosplay coming with you with a survival cosplay guide. Part 1, Top 10 Do's for a First Timer at a Convention. And hopefully after this two video segment of what to do and what not to do, you can make friends at a convention! Including this little guy right here, isn't that right? The best friends. Number 1. Make friends with everybody. Whether you're in a group or if you're going alone, it's always best to find friends or people with common interests. Going to a convention is great for that. In other words, you're going to find other geeks in costumes, naturally. Also, the people who don't like to dress up, you can always befriend them. I'll go talk to people. People are great. Not to mention that you can make a lot of new friendships just by being yourself, by saying, Hi, how are you? Uh, talking to people about, you know, like, their costume making, uh, how they made it, where they got the stuff for it. Um, you know, you guys can talk about the creation or the buying process. Everyone wins! Number two. Smile and be confident. Be confident in whatever you made, whatever you're showing up as. It's always great to have that little bit of confidence, and a smile can light up a room. What you can do is, uh, you know, be confident. Be happy with what you made. Be happy with what you bought or arted on. I don't know how many times I've seen so many awesome cosplayers who have either bought or made or even just closeted half their stuff, and they're not even confident in what they're wearing. Um, it, a little bit of confidence without being cocky can show off a person's true colors and can show how proud you are to be at that place. Not everyone can do this. Well, everyone can cosplay, but it takes an awesome, confident person to help out to show that they can be awesome. It takes a genuine person to be awesome at what they do. And not for nothing, everyone should be proud and smile about their work. Whether it's bought, that you're working on your makeup skills, the costume doesn't matter. As long as you're happy with what you've made, you're great at what you do. You can work on things. Yes, just because you have to work on your makeup skills doesn't mean you have to work on your costuming skills altogether. You can be great at sewing. That's awesome. You can also be great at just your makeup work. I know my friend Bargain Gambit, she does a lot of closet cosplays and that's wonderful, but you know what? She's wicked amazing at contouring. She's freaking amazing at doing stuff like, you know, like turning me into a guy. If you remember my Bruce Banner cosplay, she helped me with that makeup. She showed me how to contour. She showed me how to look like a man when I'm actually a gendered, not even gender, a female sexed person. And, you know, you should just be confident and proud of the skills that you have. Be proud. You're awesome at what you do, no matter what. Number three, number three, Akiyomi. Seal your body paint. For the love of God, seal it, seal it, seal it. Face paint and body paint have been around for ages, however, it seems that the cosplay community is starting to use it more and more since there's new comics coming out that seem to have more tendency to have multicolored people, not talking as in different racial. However, I'm talking about, you know, body paint such as gray, blue. Um, just remember, you have to seal your paint! Looking at you, Homestuck! Look at you. Always going to be looking at Homestuck with this one, and I regret that. Whew. Anyway, just like you, mostly Homestuck, just like you, I'm sure every cosplayer has put out there has put blood, sweat, and tears into her costumes. It, it would be a shame if they showed up to a convention and somehow, by the end of the day, they found a whole bunch of gray splats everywhere um, and found out that one lone homestucker or one lone person who was doing body paint did not steal their damn paint! And it ruins costumes, guys. Seriously, you need to seal it. Remember, if you're using body paint or any type of makeup, you can seal it simply by using baby powder, depending on what type you do. I know Ben Nye you can use baby powder. You can use hairspray if you really want to. 
Uh, Snaz roof, same thing. You can use that. Tag, you can use bot. You can use baby powder. That's what I use for my Cronus cosplays. Just make sure that, especially if it's cream based, you're gonna have a bad time if a whole bunch of cosplayers are chasing you out of a building because you got red paint all over the place. Just saying. In spirit of my shirt, Numafia. Be kind to everybody. It goes a long way. Just because you made your costume doesn't make you any better than anyone else. We all bleed red. We all are the same. Whether you closet your cosplays, you buy your cosplays, or you make your cosplays from scratch. Just be nice to each other. And I'm not talking about those who are in the community. Oh, that's such a good cosplay! Oh my god, you look so amazing! Turn around, you stupid skank. That's a horrible thing to do. Especially when someone who has horrible self-confidence. You need to be nice to each other. Yes, you don't have to get along, but at least be kind to each other. Don't start shit. That's just human decency. I mean, I've seen people go through different cosplays and work on different makeup skills just because they were shunned out for being a bot cosplayer. You know what? I support all three both. All three. Closet. Bot. And handmade. As an experienced cosplayer, you know what? I have done all three of these, personally. Um, some good examples would be my very first cosplay of Lithuania from Hitalia. Um, I did Commonwealth, where I bought the costume for a renaissance fair, and this is my first introduction to cosplay. I also bought uh, my very first Austria costume. I bought everything. I didn't make anything. The only thing I made was a curl, and that thing sucked. <laughs> the... Another good thing, you know, I'm still very proud of it to work. Come here. Sorry, my dog was barking, so he's gonna be in the video. Anyway, I uh, he it just it boils my blood when I hear cosplayers being shunned out of the community. Yes, baby, for being a bot cosplayer. I still wear that Lithuanian, not very often, but I will, because I'm so proud to wear it. It was my very first costume. Okay, be good. Goodbye. It was, you know, my first costume. Another good example, I've done closet cosplay, a mix of closet and bot. Look at my Equius. I took the shorts, the tights, the shoes, and the glasses out of my wardrobe. I bought the shirt at Walmart a few days before, and I painted the Sagittarius symbol on it. I borrowed the wig from Bargain Gambit, and I borrowed black socks from Bargain Gambit. Therefore, ta-da, please. It's gotten a, good, a lot of good reviews because it looks just like it. However, like I said, it was a, it was a mix between closet and cup. Closet cosplay and buying cosplay. It's. If it wasn't for everyone being nice about that costume and being kind, I would not have the confidence on the makeup for it, for doing drag and gray, for doing what I could to make these videos, to show the world that yes, cosplay is amazing. We're not a bunch of weirdos in costumes. We're just a bunch of geeks. And we can do good things. So remember, just be kind. It goes a long way. Number five, number five. Yes! Take photos. Yes, I've said it. Take photos. When you do take photos, you can build friendship and memories. When you do this, you know, you can always post them on your cosplay page if you need it. You know, it's a great cause, and you know what? You're doing the best for yourself. Number six. When asked to take a photo, take it with a person. You know, everyone, and I mean everyone, loves photos alone. You know, you get to pose, you get to be the character. You know, it makes for a great professional thing. However, it's so much more personable 
if you get in and do a selfie afterwards with your new friend. Make friends with people. Hand out cards. Be personable. Bottom line, be personable. Number seven, be the best you can be. L location change. And also, when confidence is your best ticket into these things, you gotta make the best of it. I mean, be confident. Be the best person out there. It doesn't mean... It doesn't matter as long as you're happy with who you are and what you made for this convention. It usually helps if you, uh, you know, be the best character you can be. When someone comes up and asks you, like, for example, when people come up and ask me, Mr. Austria, do you by chance serve pasta? Meow, look at them, smirk, know what they're referencing, and go, no, I don't, I do not have pasta. Go ask Italy. And just give them a smile. Show them that you're playing around, not being an asshole. Make friends with them. It'll look better when you do those photo shoots if you're asked for them. Like when people come up to you and say, you're the best! Don't go, oh I know. Because that's elitist talk. That's horrid. You want to do something along the lines of being nice to them. Be in character. But be nice. Just say thank you. Number eight and number nine. Eight and number nine go together. It would be the idea of bringing your first aid kit for your costumes and first aid kit for your makeup. Be sure to bring both of them. This is eight and nine. Uh, number eight, bring your first aid costume kit. What you're going to want to do is make sure they have thread. Make sure you have needles. Make sure you have extra elastic. Make sure you have the little tiny things that everyone seems to forget. Bring chain mail. Bring this. Bring a hot glue gun. Some of this will go a long way as I destroy my room. Once again, say if I were wearing my, my Femme Austria flowers, if I were to put them in my hair or in my wig, and one of them were to fall out. I don't want that metal showing. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pull out my hot glue gun and fix it. Um, just bring a backpack. Usually you can put all of your makeup, all of your cosplay supplies, and all of your setting stuff all together. Um, it's simple, it's easy, it's easy to fix. Also, whether you do cream base, alas, or liquid latex, if you do water base, Make sure to bring your sealer. This is going for number nine. Bring your makeup first aid kit. When you're at a convention, sometimes you'll rub your makeup off. Sometimes you have to bring extra makeup, guys. Otherwise, your costume's gonna look bad. Um, but if you like it that way, that's cool too. Um, the one main thing though that I would have to say, bring extra makeup. Bring extra spirit gum. If you have, like, a superhero costume, like my friend Bargain, she does, uh, Jason. Uh, Jason Todd from Batman, Red Hood. Uh, she always carries an extra thing of spirit gum, or she'll ask me for liquid latex to put in the mask in case it starts falling off. It's the best thing. Make sure you carry it. It is, like, a major must in this community and during conventions. Not to mention you can make a lot of friends just by handing out your glue gun, by being there when zippers pop, sewing. Hey, do you have extra gray? Yes. Hand it here. You can make friends that way too. And lastly, number 10. Remember BYS or BYB. This translates to be yourself sister, be yourself brother. Nobody likes phonies. Be yourself. Smile. Be kind to everyone. Respect everyone. It will make you soar in the cosplay community, and people will always be willing to hang around with you, to have photo shoots with you. You know, as you grow in that, you make friendships and make cosplay groups. That's what cosplay is about. Bringing people together out of different fandoms and having fun. The last thing you want to do is cause problems for other people. The last thing you want to do is be an elitist asshole. I may seem elitist, but I'm not. I try to stay as humble as I can because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I am. And not for nothing, yes, 
past 2000 isn't that much. But you know what? Just having a few people around you, because you are nice, you are kind, and you love what you do, makes all the difference. Anyway, my little chickadees, my little peacocks, this has been part one of the convention to do and not to do list. Um, this is going to be a survival guide for those who have never been to conventions. Um, this is just my own personal take and this in no way is all factual. Um, some people have different views than I do, however I like to give my views, hopefully be a little bit of help to those who are brand new to the community. Um, hopefully you really like this video. Um, I'm open to suggestions for videos. Like, share, comment down below. Subscribe if you like. I have a Tumblr, I have an Instagram, and I have a Facebook. Um, also YouTube. So please, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Leave comments below, and I'll get right to you. Sing with me, baby. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, jump on it, jump on it, jump on it. Bum, 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 bum.